other thing we hear sometimes is I've already had COVID, so I don't need the vaccine. Is that true? No, it's not. Um, so we know that uh, having had nat natural infection does not protect you from being reinfected. And as a matter of fact, there, there are now very nice studies that show that if you get a dose of a vaccine, your, in, your antibody titers are boosted several fold and therefore presumably give you greater protection. So individuals that feel that they have uh, natural immunity, as, as they like to talk about it, um, uh, against the, vi the variants uh, and viruses are, are, are in error. They need to get their vaccine in order to be protected and, and to protect others. The vaccine was rushed, so it's not safe. That's, that's wrong. The, the, the timeline was accelerated, but what's really important is the backstory because we already had information based on SARS CoV-1, CoV-1. That was the, the, the pandemic that, that fizzled um, at the beginning of this current century. In addition, we have data from another coronavirus, MERS, that also led to the development of vaccines that went into a, a phase one or two study. So based on that information, we built the current, or they built the current vaccine. So these vaccines have, have been accelerated and they've been accelerated, but they have not sacrificed safety. The, the, the scrutiny of the safety signals in all three phases of the clinical trial has not been compromised, nor has it been compromised after the release of the vaccine. And the vaccine have been now out, you know, in the general public for, for, for nearly six months. But prior to that, they were already being followed in the volunteers that um, accepted the vaccine uh, in the trials. I think that's such an important point that this wasn't brand new, that this is building on the backs of decades of research. Such an important point. We will help you get that out there. We asked the CDC director this question. I'm going to ask you the same one. People are worried that the long-term effects or potential effects on fertility have not been treated. Is there any reason to believe that the COVID-19 vaccine could negatively impact fertility? No, there is no data at this time to suggest that that is a, that that is a concern. Um, it has been looked at. Um, we we have the information uh, for, for women that are pregnant at this time. There does not appear to be uh, an increased uh, loss of, of pregnancy from it. We will continue to follow it. But at this time, uh, the data does not suggest that this is going to have a long-term effect on pregnancy now or into the future. Can, can getting the vaccine give you COVID-19? No, definitely not. So this vaccine does not contain li live or attenuated uh, COVID virus. It contains, there are two types of vaccines, but, but they contain genetic material from, from the, 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 the virus, the, the RNA, uh, or, or that, or that can be used then by the body to make protein. So it does not contain, does not contain the live virus. It cannot give you the virus, cannot give you COVID. And to be perfectly clear, it doesn't complain. It do also does not contain a chip or DNA or alter your genes or genetic makeup in any way. It does not contain chips of any type. It cannot alter your DNA. Uh, uh, this is a very safe virus. It is non integratable, it's, it's a fancy term for that. Moving. Moving a little bit out of myths, there's also been this myth that the vaccine helps create the variants. Um, where do the variants really come from? Yeah, that's a, that's a very a good question. So, um, so the variants come because they, they they replicate. The virus grows, replicates in an individual. And so, um, let me use an analogy. So, um, you know, the, the reason why a, a factory that produces cars has consistency in the quality of the cars is because there is somebody doing quality control. The virus for you know an analogy would be that the virus doesn't have that quality control characteristic. And so every virus that comes after the initial infection is different than the original virus. And if you keep getting these variants, these, these changes, these lack of, of, of quality control viruses, eventually you wind up with a virus that has a different genetic makeup than the one that originally affected you and therefore is a variant and has newer characteristics. And that's what's happened. That's how we've developed this, this, this new variant Delta. Um, it spread rapidly through, uh, through, it, through the population in India and eventually established itself as a new variant because it picked up enough changes, mutations 
um, in its in its in its in its uh, RNA to lead to a new variant. 